This is all about the most advanced giant machines and super technologies from China. Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Richard Aguilar. And once again, this is Arthur. And welcome back again to our channel. So now, we are back again today to give you another great video. And today, we are going to present to you some of the super unbelievable technologies from China. So, to make it short, in this video, you will see the most advanced giant machines and super technologies from China. And without further ado, here we go with our video. Number 1 is Wind Turbine Insulation Vessel Delivered A self-elevating wind turbine insulation vessel has been delivered to a subsidiary of China Communications Construction Company. It is 19 meters long and 40.8 meters wide, with a deck area of 2,400 square meters and a variable load of around 3,200 tons. The ship can accommodate three 6 megawatt wind turbines or two 8 megawatt wind turbines. Number 2 is China delivered new 5,000 ton crane vessel. China saw the successful delivery of a new crane vessel with a lifting capacity of 5,000 tons in Shanghai. It can reach as deep as 3,000 meters below the sea. The heavy lift ship, 199 meters in length, 47.6 meters in molded breadth, and 15 meters in molded depth, has a loaded displacement of 75,127 tons. Number 3 is China launched latest marine research vessel. China launched its latest comprehensive marine research vessel, the Dongfang Hong 3, at the Jiangnan shipyard in Shanghai with an overall length of 103.8 meters and width of 18 meters. The vessel can navigate a continuous sailing distance of 15,000 nautical miles. The Dongfang Hong 3, a cooperative project between number 708 Research Institute of China State Shipbuilding Company and Ocean University of China, is equipped with the most comprehensive scientific expedition functions. Number 4 is China's first homemade bulk deck cargo ship. A China built bulk deck cargo ship is delivered to Louis Dreyfus Company. It is designed and built by China Shipbuilding Industry Corporation. It saves 22% of fuel comparing to similar vessel thus will reduce transportation cost. Number 5 is 
Number five is Giant Machine helps Chinese railway workers upgrade track. These railway maintenance workers are cleaning the track beds. They don't need to disassemble the track. As this giant machine, a ballast cleaner does the hard work for them. Using vibrations, small fragments of clay or coal cinder in the railway ballast are removed. Another machine is then used to lift the tracks to remove the old slippers and lay new ones. The whole process is managed by a computer system. These two machines make light work of a usually strenuous job. Number 6 is China's first Type 055 destroyer Nanchang commissioned. China's first Type 055 guided missile destroyer Nanchang, which was first displayed to the public during the celebrations marking the 70th anniversary of the People's Liberation Army Navy since April 1949, was commissioned at a naval base in the port city of Qingdao, East China's Shandong province. The warship is viewed by many as a symbol of Chinese Navy's development, signaling that China's destroyers have evolved to the fourth generation. Number 7 is China's large buoy working ship delivered. China's first homegrown 3,000-ton buoy tender Xiangyang Hou 22 was delivered in Shanghai for marine monitoring in the country. The Xiangyang Hong 22, which was built by the China Shipbuilding Industry Corporation, will be used to deploy, patrol, recycle, and repair large buoys and subsurface buoys. It's China's only working boat with the ability to hoist a large buoy that is 10 meters in diameter and weighs 60 tons. Number 8 is Chinese made tunnel boring machine exported to Denmark. Two tunnel boring machines roll off the assembly line in Jiangzhou, China. The TBMs were designed and manufactured by China Railway Engineering Equipment Group Company. The machines will be exported to Denmark. It's believed to be the first time that China-designed TBMs are exported to a North European country. Number 9 is the General Assembly Line of China's homegrown jetliner, ARJ-21. The ARJ-21 is the first regional passenger jetliner to be developed solely by China. It can be configured to have 78 to 90 seats and has a range of 3,700 km. It's
it can apply in alpine and plateau regions and is adapted to various airport conditions. The plane was developed by the Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China. And that's all there is to it for today. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and share this with others. Once again, this is Richard Aguilar. And this is Arthur. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video. video.